Becky dreamed she was on the road as a road train. And then she saw railroad tracks. Oh no. You really know. Becky said to herself, and then she jolted forward. And then bumped herself on the railroad tracks full of hazardous material. Big freight train came into view. And then it happened. A train hit her and derailed, and then the, another train came. make matters worse, it happened. The train came and bumped the boxcars and shoved them out of the way. And then a subway train came into view. It was wobbly. Then it happened at once. Another subway crashed into the other subway. And it also derailed! Then there was trouble. Becky had been cloned. Watch out for the track! The three Beckys said. It was too late! When more trouble came, there were more bombs in the Be in Becky, and then oh my, it happened. <coughs> she exploded, and then ugh, fire raged and raged. And then the fire exploded and it became larger <laughs> and darker and then oh no Becky cried she was scared Are you all right? asked Camille. I had a nightmare, Becky said. It was about a train wreck. That's frightening, Becky, groaned Thomas. And then they returned to sleep.
The next morning, Amtrak was being really useful on the tracks with its passenger cars while taking people on long distances, while the tracks had good control indeed. Today is Mr. Producer's last day, Becky said. He has to go home tomorrow. So she's on her way to get Mr. Cakester from the airport tomorrow morning, Jackie said. She buffered up to a lot of freight cars and shunted them into place. And she heaved and huffed. This is the longest train I've ever had, grunted Jackie. She huffed and she puffed with all of her might. And then she came to an unusual mega mountain. This is the steepest track I've ever climbed, Jackie said. And then she came up to the vertical grade. I don't think I'll be able to get to the top, grunted Jackie. My train is too heavy. She groaned and grieved. I must do it! I must! And she grunted. I'm on the sleepers now! She said. I can't... She grunted all the way to the top. Then there was trouble. The train started to go fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yelled Jackie. I shouldn't have done that! The train started to go fast. I shouldn't have done this! Help! Moaned Jackie. Runaway steam locomotive! She rocketed down the line at full speed. Jackie, Jackie said, it's too heavy, and it began to go faster and faster. Then she sped through a big city. Oh no, cried the freight cars, our engine is heavy. And it was too heavy for Jackie to control on her own. I hope Mr. Pyster isn't punished, she said. The train was really heavy. And on the grade crossing, the cars and trucks began to clear the line. Clear the road! Yelled Jackie. I fudged it! And the gates began to come down. And Jackie sped over. I'm not using profanity on the crossing, she said. Because swear words might lead to trouble. And then she went at full breakneck speed 
and her driver and fireman were in a state of panic. She rocketed through the countryside at 143 miles an hour with a whole bunch of freight cars behind her which clattered along which made her go really fast. My train's out of control! <laughs> Jackie rocketed through the station <clears throat> at, a, at the speed of 250 miles an hour. Then there was trouble. Ahead was a sharp bend. And trains had to go slow, but Jackie was going too fast to stop and in time. It was way too late! Fire began to rage after the sparks, and then she went right into a swamp. Are you alright? Asked Lorraine. <coughs> it will be when I get out of here soon coughed Jackie. She was derailed. You're gonna be just fine, said Lorraine. <laughs> 